the very first thing you should know when uh, when starting a tank is that the tank needs to cycle you gotta know the nitrogen cycle nitrogen cycle is what will allow your fish to stay alive crazy important the tank needs to mature so the good bacteria build up on the surfaces on the biological component of your filter which is a surface a bio wheel a bio ball or it's got this kind of media let me show you there's all kinds of medias as long as they have surface for the bacteria to grow this is a good example there's this one from eShops right here it's a huge porosity it's a ceramic media with a lot of these ceramic medias are becoming very popular like that one over there like this one right here by uh, by continuum which is pretty much bright wall aquatics can't I don't know at this point I'm lost but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of porosity and this one has a sulfur media which will allow you also to build up the sulfur will be food for denitrifying bacteria that consume the nitrates but pretty much this is what happens you gotta set up the tank have it running add the good bacteria next they start with one single fish one I cannot stress that enough people come here and tell them one fish oh can I have this one can I have that one have that one but it, it's tough it's tough when you're, when you're all excited about setting up a new tank so this is one of the, be, the, the companies that I like that I recommend it's right uh, free time they sell you live bacteria um, there will be a little bit of ammonia to keep that live bacteria refrigerated it's very densely uh, the density of bacteria is very high so we have we want to reduce the metabolism by cooling this so when you set it up the tank is running with water if you have a fresh water tank you already dechlorinated the tap water I cannot stress that enough also I have to show you so if you're doing a fresh water tank and you're using tap water you have to dechlorinate the tap water if you're getting RODI water you want to add RO right which adds minerals and then you want to buffer the water for the type of fish that you're getting community fish 7.0 discus 6.5 secrets 8.0 i might be getting too complicated right now but so basically you want to add the bacteria to get that nitrogen cycle going and what is the nitrogen cycle fish produce waste in the form of ammonia we gotta get rid of that ammonia the ammonia I'm going to write actually I don't need to write I got this little diagram see this one right here that's a night uh, a nitrogen uh, a nitrate reactor where I'm going to fill this up with sulfur media but let's not get complicated but let me show you I do have this um, I have this really nice all right basic this is like special effects and everything for you guys all right so fish produce waste right waste in the form of ammonia ammonia is a nh4 or nh3 4 plus depends on the ph but whatever and let's let's keep on track so ammonia gets converted into nitrite the nitrite gets converted into nitrate by the use of those good bacteria that I show you there's nitrosomas nitrospira it's a little bit more complicated but just let's focus on this the good bacteria consume convert toxic ammonia and toxic nitrite into something less toxic which is nitrate don't get too crazy just keeping the nitrates going up you gotta keep them down eventually depending on the level they will get toxic you can get rid of nitrates by water changes so you're exporting you can have plants 
also consuming the nitrate or you will have uh, an aeroxic bacteria consuming the nitrate which is what that reactor is going to be doing for me because I got this massive system of I don't know at least a thousand fish on this system I have to always be doing water changes but so so that's pretty much it you gotta wait you add the bacteria ammonia will spike nitrite will spike but as nitrite spikes it means that the ammonia is getting converted into nitrites so ammonia goes down nitrites go up nitrates are slowly going nitrites are slowly slowly going down because they're getting converted into nitrates and eventually at the end you're going to get zero ammonia zero nitrite but high nitrates so that's good it means your nitrogen cycle is is pretty much done your bacteria grew enough to consume the ammonia produced by those one or two fish you don't want to add 10 fish afterwards you want to add them slowly so the bacteria community builds up usually it takes 30 days it might take it might might take three months if you don't use any bacteria if you only rely on the bacteria that's already in the digestive tract of the fish so you got to be patient uh, that's it there's no way to go around that unless you add media that is already been in another tank from a friend or another or a store will give you that media but always test the water you cannot stress that enough you gotta test the water you gotta get get at least a strip get uh, I like to do the API which I'll show you which I'll, I'll try to show you tomorrow but that's pretty much it ammonia gets converted into nitrite and the nitrite gets converted to nitrate and then you do the water changes the tank has to cycle that's the first thing, that's the first lesson. You gotta know about uh, keeping fish. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow.